Hi! In the last video, we have seen that only code written in machine language can be run by a computer because it's the only thing that the computer really understands. In order to be able to execute a program written in C, we have to first translate it to machine language. This is typically achieved using the command line interface, which is sometimes just called a command line. But I know that many beginners feel overwhelmed by the command line. So I'm gonna share a secret with you. I actually don't need that. Unless you're a student of mine at university, then you are gonna need it. So how do we now translate C code to machine code? It's simple. Just open your browser, go to your favorite search engine and search for and see online editor. Each of the topmost results should be a good option. I will choose this one here. Here you have an editor area where you can type your code. For this video, I will just paste our code in here and we will discuss what it actually means in a later video. Once my code is placed in the editor area, all we have to do is to click this run button here. This translates our code into machine language and runs the resulting code. The output our program produced is shown in this panel here. All our program did was to say hi. What a nice program. Now, the good news is that for this video series, you will not need more than a service like this website. But if you wanna get the full C experience, you will want to learn how to build and run your programs without needing a service like this. We will see how this works in the next video. Even if you plan on using this website, which is okay, I encourage you to watch the next video because it will clarify many of the things we will see later in this video series. Because from now on, I will translate code and run the resulting program using the command line. We will see a tiny little crash course on a command line next. See you then.